J-curve is coming up next, and I'm going to walk right over here to my whiteboard again, just so you'll forgive my artwork. So we're gonna talk about the J-curve. What the J-curve is, you can think about it as a freeway entry or exit ramp. And we're gonna take our bus, okay, and we're gonna come around this turn, and we're gonna do it with the system off, as we did before, and with the system on. And we're gonna show you how stability control uh, helps keep us in control around here. But first, like we did before, and it's the fun part of the demo, is we're going to turn the system off and uh, we'll go into that maneuver. So I'm gonna go hop in the bus, Mike, so we can get rolling. Back to you and TJ. Okay, so TJ, um, while Fred gets situated in the cab there, what are some of the other benefits uh, for bus drivers with, uh, with stability? Yeah, well, so Fred's mentioned a couple of them right here. The two big ones are the, the help uh, reduce the likelihood of a rollover, help reduce the likelihood of loss of control. But as you'll see later in the demonstration, it also is the foundation for the collision mitigation systems. Uh, we want to make sure those, uh, the bus is stable before we start bringing on the brakes to mitigate a rear end accident. Okay, very good. Fred, are you ready for the live demo? Ready to roll, Mike. I, I gotta stop saying ready to roll. We are ready to show stability technology. Okay, like we did before, I'm going to turn the system off. Now I'm going to come into my J-curve maneuver probably around uh, 20, 25 miles an hour. And uh, we're going to see what this does. Again, think freeway entry exit ramp. Here we come in. Whoa. Yeah. So that time uh, we would have definitely lost control, might have even rolled over. I'm going to come around here. I'm going to turn that system back on. And uh, we're going to come in. I did about uh, 20, 25 in there. Let's see if we can get uh, 30, 35 with the system on. Again, this is Bendix ESP. We're on a Bluebird bus right now with stability control. Here we come in about 30. Oh, there it goes. OK, so the system, again, it's reading what's going on driver intent through the steer angle sensor, and then uh, the yaw rate sensor, as TJ mentioned, going the vehicle direction and lateral acceleration, feeling that shift in the center of gravity. You know, sometimes what you feel in your car when you go around a turn really sharp. We're gonna come back around here and we are going to check out that instant replay. So back, Mike, to you and TJ. Okay, all right, so TJ, one of the big differences, say, between uh, a truck with a trailer and a bus is that the bus is like one solid unit. You don't have that separation, so you're really feeling this in the seat, whether, you know, if without ESP, and, and with it, you also really feel the effects. Right. So if you get a chance, watch that replay again, and especially with the system on, and you watch how when Fred goes into the maneuver, I think he said he was going around 30 to 35, right? It immediately slows down good around that curve. It's nice and boring basically, <laughs> is what we're after there. So, you know, think about it, 35 miles an hour, that system comes on, and it, uh, some of the drivers describe it as somebody like, grabbing the bus by the hand and slowing me down and letting mm -hmm. me go around the curve. There's nothing like a good, boring bus ride, I always say. So, <laughs> Fred, we don't want you to be boring. Let's uh, take us through that replay. All right, Mike, I'll try not to be. So here we are coming around. Um, this should be with the, uh, the system on. So what we're going to do... Again, as we talked about before, this is the beauty of uh, stability control because a lot of times, as Mike mentioned earlier, driver may not feel the rollover or loss of control. And so what stability is doing is it's anticipating uh, that we're gonna get into this situation and it's gonna help the driver out uh, by applying the brakes as necessary. Now, it doesn't always apply the brakes because sometimes all you need is a little bit of a trim. So we might just cut throttle for you. And uh, then, um, you know, so you might feel a little throttle cut just to trim so the bus doesn't lose control. But when you hit that hard braking like we were hitting out there, that's when you know you almost lost it. Back to you, Mike. 